Yo, hey guys, what's going on? Jimmy is promo, and I just wanted to go live and just talk a little bit about the Galaxy Z Fold 2, uh, seeing if it's something that you guys are interested in, if it's something that you guys are also pre-ordering. Uh, but I also want to talk a little bit about some of the deals, some of the places you can purchase the Z Fold 2, uh, and then also, too, uh, a couple things to think about if you wanted to purchase this one with customizable hinges. So first off, I just want to take a look and make sure that we are live. Also wanted to open it up so this way I can see uh, your guys' comments as well. So looks like we are <laughs> we are here and live. Uh, let me open up the live chat just so I can see if there's anything that you guys have as questions. So first off, let's see here. So first off, when it comes down to uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 in terms of the specs, uh, and then also to... Uh, you know, what is my specific thoughts on it? And I am super excited for the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Man, I'm getting a lot of notifications right here. <laughs> All right, let's head over into the live chat one more time. Okay, so there we go. So in terms of the specs, first off, um, you know, with this one, the price is going to be at that $19.99 price point, which is awesome. Last year with the Galaxy Z Fold, the original, or the Galaxy Fold, it was just $10 cheaper. So with them being able to add in 5G, uh, and then also add in a lot of storage along with the whole new camera array and just the way that they've improved the hinge and also both screens got larger the inside and also uh, the cover screen both got larger so a really good job with the price um, so the main display is 7.6 inches the cover display is 6.2 inches uh, it is running on that snapdragon 865 plus you have 12 gigs of RAM. The storage is 256 gigs. And then your rear cameras, they're all set up with 12 megapixels. So you'll have the ultra, the uh, uh, like the ultra wide, the regular wide and the telephoto. And then both of the selfie cameras are 10 megapixel. And if you've seen any pictures of what I've done with the Galaxy Z Fold 2, you can see that there are images taken with the selfie cameras. So if you want to just take a look at some of those, honestly, while using, that's weird, it's kind of an inception. So when you actually use the camera on the inside of the phone when it's actually opened, this is where I got the best selfie photo um, versus almost anywhere else, especially with the cover selfie photo. When it when you go and you take a picture with the rear camera setup and you have your outside display turned on, obviously it's going to be a much better photo. Uh, and then the battery size is a 4,500 milliamp battery. I had no issues with this one so far. And so, but the other thing too is that it wasn't really used as my daily driver. So I couldn't really tell you exactly the full battery life. So we kind of talked a little bit about all the specs, kind of put it all out um, right there at the beginning of the video. Then the next thing to take a look at will be the uh, the deals that you can get at all the other carriers. So I'm just going to pop that up right here real quick. Um, I had it sent over in a link. So we'll take a look at that. I guess, are you guys interested um, with the Galaxy Z Fold 2. I'm gonna look at the, the comments. I already pulled up the the deals for the Z Fold 2. So I'm gonna look at a few of the comments here. Um, let's see, if reserved, can we pre-order it yet? So we, we will be talking about that once I finish talking about all the deals per all the carriers. So you can actually pre-order right now, at least in the United States. Um, also too, I found out that in Canada, so if you're in Canada, I noticed that you're also able to pre-order it there as well. But let's just take a look real quick about the the deals. Um, so when you look at the Samsung website, so it's talking about samsung.com website, what you'll be able to get is that you'll be able to pre-order the Z Fold 2 or the Z Fold 2 Tom Brown to direct from Samsung. You'll get an instant $50 Samsung credit to use for future Samsung purchases. The credit is valid through December 20th of this year. Um, if you own a Fold or a Z Flip, you're able to trade in your devices and you can get a pretty good deal there. If you own the original Fold, then it's going to be worth $800. So that's one thing to remember. If you purchase the Z Fold 2, when you go off and you trade it in for another phone, it's really only going to work for another Fold device. So if you order this phone for $2,000, uh, it will be worth probably $800 or $900 as trade-in for the next Galaxy Fold 3. 
Um, so just something to keep in mind with that one. A lot of the other newer phones will be able to be traded in right now for $650 for a trade-in value, which is what I did for the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Uh, then you can also go to AT&T. You're able to get free HBO Max if you get it from AT&T. Um, it says that there's no pre-order deals per se. Uh, if you opt in for the AT&T Unlimited Elite Plan, you also get HBO Max for free. Uh, then we go to Verizon. So pre-order, you can get $550 off at Verizon. Uh, Verizon's offering multiple ways to save your Galaxy Z Fold 2 pre-order. Currently, you can get up to $550 off when you add a new line and you trade in your old phone and then you get that phone. So if you need um, or if you're, if, if you're at Verizon, uh, the only way to get this phone with $550 off is if you get a new line. So again, I always stress to everybody, always get unlocked. So go to Best Buy, find the unlocked version, get that thing, throw your SIM card in, you're good to go. Uh, go to samsung.com, purchase it that way. Uh, the trade-in program is really easy. They send you a slip, you print off the printing package, uh, you know, slip, and then you just put it in a box, you send it away, and then you get your discount. If you don't wanna do any trade-in offers, then sell your phone. So then this way you can maybe get a little bit more for it and then you'd be able to go off and get the phone. So with Verizon, uh, you do have to go uh, with a new line in order to save $550 off. New customers who switch to Verizon and pre-order the Z Fold 2 will get a $150 Verizon e card or e gift card. Uh, and then for Best Buy, uh, for Best Buy is taking $50 off the Galaxy Fold 2 pre-orders made through its website. You'll need to activate the phone via Verizon to secure the $50 discount. So it looks like Best Buy is doing something with Verizon. Don't know if that'll change or if they'll add more. I uh, just want to let you guys know that. And then for anybody else who uses U.S. Cellular, the regional carrier in the United States, um, it looks like you can get it as a prepaid carrier. U.S. Cellular uh, has confirmed that it will offer the Z Fold 2 on its network starting September 18th. However, there are no currently uh, no pre-order deals. So it looks like the best pre-order deal will be if you go to just Samsung.com or Best Buy. Uh, unless if you're looking for a new line at Verizon. Now, the next thing I do want to talk about, we talked about all the specs. We talked about the deals everywhere. Uh, the most important thing is going to be when you order it right now, which it is available. Um, I did sign up for that whole uh, reserve, you know, setting. So then this way I can get an email to pre-order. Well, I did not get that email just yet, um, but I did find a website that did work for me to sign in with my Samsung account and then also get the deal and pre-order. Now, if you pre-order the phone, if you get it in that that uh, Mystic Black or Mystic Bronze, what's gonna happen is that if you get it with the original hinge and you do not customize the hinge, you will get it in two weeks. It'll come out and ship to you, I believe on the 17th or 18th. Um, and then if you customize the hinge, which I, I did, I customized my hinge to the Mystic Red color. Um, and there's also a blue color, looks really cool. Um, but anyways, I went with the red customized hinge and that won't ship for five weeks. So if you pre-order the phone now, you'll get it around 17th or 18th of September without any customization. But if you customize the hinge, uh, it will probably take all the way until October 9th to get the phone. Uh, when I pre-ordered mine, it just stated five weeks from now. Looking at a calendar, it puts it right around uh, the end of the first week of October. That is all the details. Uh, so now let's move over inside of some of the comments that we have inside of here. Um, solid phone, Snapdragon 865 Plus. Yep, that is correct. Does it deserve $2,000? I believe that this one does deserve $2,000 when you look at the technology where you have a folding display, a phone that can fold um, and as well as have a large you know, uh, uh, screen on the front. Um, so for them to improve on this phone this much and only increase the price by $10 from last year, Yes, it is worth $2,000. And you're getting all of this year specs. Uh, you will not be getting last year's specs. Let's see, looks like Ahmed L, uh, he's ordered his bronze edition with gold hinge. Drew uh, is saying that he wishes that there was a 512 gigabyte storage option. You know what, I wish that there was as well too, 
um, that is actually available in China. Uh, it's not available here in the United States, at least. Um, I own almost all my phones are 128 gig of internal storage. So with this one being 256, uh, I mean, I'm fine. Um, all of my photos, my videos, everything is all stored on, on Google Photos. So nothing is lost. Uh, everything is backed up via Wi-Fi, uh, all at good quality. So it's all for free. So, um, yeah. And then uh, looks like uh, someone whose name is Control stated, you ordered yours already. How? So, uh, yes, I did order mine already. There was a link that was sent to me on my Twitter. So if you actually follow me on Twitter, which is Jimmy is promo, you'll see that somebody wrote to me that they're like, hey, click on this link uh, and it'll work. There was two people who sent the link. Uh, the first one didn't work. The second one did. So I used that link to purchase it. Um, but I believe everybody who already reserved that time frame the, the time frame where you're able to reserve this phone they got the emails to to order this phone if i was to go through my emails now i would probably be able to see that email to to go through that that ordering process so anytime that you ever see that samsung is doing the the um the registering for pre-order definitely get up on that one let's see here um lucky blah blah let's see so uh, Emmanuel is talking about, uh, does the sub subpar camera really feel okay? So I don't really understand subpar, uh, unless if people are just looking at specific megapixels. So all of the cameras, you know, are 10 megapixel, 10 megapixel selfie, 12 megapixel, 12 megapixel, 12 megapixel for the rear camera setup over here. Uh, it's not subpar when you look at the sensors that were added in. The sensors are not uh, subpar. The megapixels might be smaller. Who cares if it's not 64 or 108 megapixel? That really has no that has no meaning to me. You can have a 108 megapixel camera, but a horrible sensor. The sensor is really what matters. So it's not subpar. Um, let's see here. What's up with the screen protector around the punch hole? So there is just a layer of protection on, on the Galaxy Z Fold 2, something that you really can't uh, uh, really notice or see. Um, when you first get the phone, uh, you will notice that there is gonna be a little screen protector on top that you are able to pull off. Super easy to tell which one uh, you are able to pull off. With the newer style, the newer edges, uh, what they did was it's all underneath. So you can't just pull off uh, a protective layer of this phone. Um, someone was mentioning, can they pre-order from Best Buy? My guess is going to be tonight at 12.01, or I should say tomorrow morning at 12.01. That is when regular pre-order starts for Samsung.com, Best Buy, everything else. Um, unless if you went inside that order, that, that, that time frame of the, um, registering moment. Let's see here. Best Buy has the Verizon model only. Uh, that's what, that's what I kind of read. I hope they get unlocked. Um, usually they get unlocked. Maybe they have Verizon at the very beginning, but then unlocked would come later. I don't see how they would only um, exclusify with Verizon. If they did, that's a horrible move. Let's see here. Let's see. Can you pre-order it at Best Buy? We just answered that one. Um, let's see here. When I pre-ordered the, the Galaxy Z, uh, let's see here. Love your shows. Thank you. Uh, tech for your needs says, hello, folks. Um, can you ask for a Groupon? <laughs> that's Samsung. That's awesome. Uh, let's see here. I got an email. Also, no Fold 2 cases and special offers. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the, the cases on this one. That is going to be something that I'll be looking at later on. And anytime I get notification and, and thoughts of looking at cases, we will also um, talk about that on the channel here. Let's see here. I had the pre-order offer. Watch TV. Uh, I heard that if we pre-order, we will get an offer. Uh, an offer where we will get give the Galaxy Watch Three for two fifty. Do you have idea on this? I believe that I saw something like that. I believe that there was a deal for a watch when you pre-order it. Um, I really didn't go through all of it. I was only going directly for the phone uh, with my trade-in of saving um, six hundred and fifty dollars. So I didn't really look at all of the options there. I kind of skipped that page. Um, so I, I, uh, I do apologize for that one. Um, 
Let's see, five weeks for custom, no thanks. I like all bronze. Yeah, you can go for whichever one you want to. The only thing I would mention is that, you know, it's just like buying a car. It's gonna be something that you'll hold on to for quite a while. And if you see a, a version of what you want, sometimes you do have to wait a little bit longer. So you just have to ask yourself the question, do I wanna wait just a little bit longer to get the exact model of this phone that I want? If not, then I'll settle and get the stock colors. That's the only thing you gotta ask yourself. Um, is can you wait for what you really want? Uh, with this channel uh, being red and black, that is the color scheme of the Galaxy Z Fold 2 that I ordered. Uh, again, which is why I, it's okay for me to wait five weeks. A lot of YouTubers are gonna, are gonna come out with unboxing videos in two weeks from now. I'll be a little jelly, but when it comes down to the early August when you received your custom phone uh, and then you unbox that thing, People are still going to probably take a look at it just to see what it looks like, even though it is a few weeks later. Um, Pre-orders start tomorrow, right? Yeah, so Jay, uh, it starts tomorrow morning, uh, 12.01, or tonight, 12.01, whichever way you'd like to look at it. Um, they should have put the S Pen in there for sure, yes. Um, hopefully, maybe the Galaxy Z Fold 3 will come out with the S Pen. The only issue will be this crease right here. So when you use your S Pen on this crease, uh, that is where it's gonna have issues with an S Pen. Also too, they would have to think of how they were able to get that layer of display, that layer of EMR where Wacom works with a digital S Pen or a digital pen. So it, you gotta decide if you can make that layer foldable. If not, then they'll have to somehow only have it active everywhere on the screen except for the crease location. Um, let's see here. What does the channel name mean? So will, so will uh, the channel name Jimmy is promo. Uh, what it means is that a long time ago, I used to do promotional work. I worked in marketing. I toured the United States for many companies, many different marketing clients. Um, and so I created a, a Gmail that was called Jimmy is promo. And so it was a more professional name back then, rather than using my old high school emails, which you can imagine what a high school email could be. But long story short, I made that Gmail to send my resume to all marketing agencies and companies and clients. So then this way I can get hired. And when I created my first video on YouTube, um, that's all they took. Back then when I started the channel, they took everything before the at symbol and made that the, the YouTube channel name. And then I kept it. The only thing I changed with Jimmy is promo was I added in the spaces in between each word. So that is what uh, Jimmy is promo means. Let's see, please tell me about if it's waterproof, it's not waterproof. It does have a better hinge, a more solid hinge. It has a sweeper on the inside. You can actually feel when you actually bend the thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty strong. And when you actually fold it as well, every time that it moves, you can just feel that it's reinforced. So there's a sweeper kind of sweeping along any type of dust that's on the inside of there. Um, does it shoot in 4K? I believe it does. I believe I looked at the camera and it, and it does have that. Um, let me let me double look. I'm getting out of the comments here really quick. Going inside the camera. Let's head over inside of the video. Let's see. So for the rear video size, I can shoot it in 16 by nine and I can shoot it at ultra HD, 60 frames per second and 30 frames per second. Um, I can also shoot it in a ratio of uh, five, five by four. And then when you go inside of your 16 by nine ratio, I don't know if you guys can read that or not, maybe it's backwards. Um, but yeah, you are able to shoot it in, uh, in 4K. All right, let's head back inside this video. All right, so questions, let's see here. Um, there's probably gonna be a lot of other websites that'll have a lot of cases as well. Do we know how much Samsung is giving in a trade-in for the old fold? Yeah, the old fold, if you have the original fold, it will be worth trade-in $800. So one thing to keep in mind when you purchase this phone is that it will depreciate um, a lot. So if you own the original fold, uh, you can trade it in for 800 or keep it since it is the o like the OG original. When you get the Galaxy Z Fold 2 uh, next year, when you trade it for the Z Fold 3, it'll probably be worth 800 or 900 again. 
So it will be depreciating a lot. So you can always think about trying to sell it beforehand if you want to. If not, trade-in is, is always fun. You can always get a pretty good deal on it. Um, how much can Zoom 10 or 15? If you can show how the quality is, please. Um, how's the battery life? So battery life, I don't know for sure just yet. It's 4,500 milliamp. I've been using it, you know, with uh, um, open, shut. Uh, I just don't have a SIM card in here. That's why I can't really give you the um, the full day's battery life, I guess you can say. When it comes down to zooming in, you'll have a two-time zoom. Um, everything else after that is probably going to be digital. So you have a one-time, two-time, four-time, and then 10-time zoom. So what's going to happen is it will be the two-time zoom will be optical. And then, let's see, four-time zoom, it's going to be digital. And then with 10 times zoom, uh, that's also going to be two time optical, five time digital. So that's all the zoom ins on that one. So really what you have is you have the Note 20 camera setup, uh, not the, not, not the uh, Note 20 Ultra. Uh, there is no IP rating. They probably have an IP rating, but they're not going to share it just because they don't want people to go around the beach. So the beach will be the, the least, the, the, the worst place to go because there's water, there's sand. Uh, I, I told somebody uh, who asked this earlier, they're like, hey, does it have an IP rating? Can you go around water? I said, no, it's not water resistant, but it's definitely not made for laying on a beach towel, but it is made for a yacht as it is a ultra premium device. So if you have a yacht, <laughs> you can take it out, but I wouldn't take it to the beach. Uh, that's one downside. No, no uh, water resistance, no... Uh, uh, dust proofing as well either. Um, let's see here. I'm just reading the comments if I'm looking down. If you guys are looking at my head, hopefully I got a good head of hair for you guys. Uh, what happened to the 512 variant? That is over in China, not over in the United States. Um, unless if there's like a, uh, a Tom Thorne or whatever version that's 512, uh, it's not going to be on the regular device. Um, in the UK, the old fold is 650. Original price is 2000. You can't get that anywhere near 650. Yeah, exactly. Um, I only seen one link, Jimmy, but it says reserve. Already reserved it though. Um, so what I'll do is after after this video is done, um, I can always place in that link. Uh, so just wait for this vi video to be done. I'll put it in inside the link or inside of a pinned comment uh, if you want to order it. So it should work for you guys as well too. Um, let's see here. That thumbnail dough. <laughs> yeah. YouTube and thumbnails always fun. You got to try to figure out. Let's see here. Uh, can you, can you use the front screen while recording video? Like you can, uh, taking photos. Yeah. So if you want to use the front screen, let me show you what it looks like. So right now you see nothing on the back and then we flip it on. Uh, and then now you guys can see what I can see. Um, you can do that with either photo or video. Let's see, let me wipe that off a little dirty there, a little bit cleaner. We're, we're looking at a lot of, a lot of light coming in, but yeah, so you are able to do that, um, with photo or video. Uh, let's see here. Have you tried selling on Gumtree? So I don't. I don't sell on Gumtree. What I do is I do sell on Swappa. So um, I did sell some of my Galaxy A series devices on Swappa the other day and they sold in one day. Actually, they sold in one hour. So if I do use the Galaxy Z Fold 2, I find that for some reason I don't want it and I'm going to sell it, then um, I will be using my Swappa account, which is actually super sick. Um, you sell it really fast there. But yeah, you can pre-order it now. Uh, is it fun and worth it? I mean, the, the Fold 2 is definitely fun. Um, you know, I'm a tech guy, so it's going to be definitely fun for me. But when it comes down to like the Z Fold 2, they had all the improvements over the original Fold. Like my mind kind of went back and forth. It's kind of like a, this is a been there, done that device. Um, especially like, especially if you own the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, it's a been there, done that device. You have everything on your Note 20 Ultra that the Z Fold 2 has, except for folding. Because I own the original Fold, uh, you know, I'm, I was used to that. 
But the first fold, I had a lot of buyer's remorse. Uh, I returned it within the two weeks. It was too expensive. Trade-in value wasn't there. Dust resistance wasn't there. The front, uh, front display was horrible, super small. Um, and this one really fixed a lot of those. So, you know, as you use it more and more, you'll probably learn to appreciate the phone more and more. And I'd have to say that when you, when you close the screen, um, it is actually really fun to use. You are able to uh, use it as normal. It is narrow, but you're able to actually use it. And then when you actually go and open it up, it's just um, a really good experience when it's in this like square form factor. Uh, and I do want to give a big thank you um, to DNK. Uh, welcome to the support promo. So I do have a join button below um, this video here. It's right next to the subscribe button. Join button just means that you get extra perks and things like that. So um, thank you for supporting this channel, by the way, DNK. Um, let's see, here's a good phone for the blind or visually impaired. Well, it is a larger screen. So if you're still able to visually see everything, but it's a little bit harder, you're able to look at it here. Uh, the Z Fold 2 also has all of the uh, um, you know accessibility settings that you're able to do with magnification, with um, changing the color of your keyboard. There's so many things you can do for, for visually impaired. Um, Samsung has a lot of stuff uh, inside of the accessibilities. Uh, do you think that some of the UI changes will be available in the Fold 1? I really don't know. I don't know what Samsung is doing with the original fold, if they're gonna do a lot of stuff. I feel like they should be keep updating things. Um, but yeah, I I, uh, I really don't know on that one for the original fold. Uh, do you know when three app multi-window ability comes to the Tab S6? Uh, if the Tab S6, once that gets updated to Samsung One UI 2.5, then you should see that. So on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, when you open up your edge panel and then you go inside of your application, uh, window here. This is where you can create things like making, um, you know, like a, like a dual screen like this. And I don't know if I can open up another screen on this one. I can do like on top of it like that, but um, it's not going to be as fluid as what it is on the Z Fold 2. So I feel that uh, tablets will get that multi-window with three apps after it gets that uh, Samsung One UI 2.5. Um, let's see here. I said three multi apps will be able on the fold one. Uh, would you say it's better overall by when trading from a note nine? So it really depends in terms of, is it better to sell or trade, uh, for this phone? And the only thing is it's depending on timing. Uh, the reason why I say that is you can order the phone right now. You can do one of the financing programs. You can buy it outright and then make sure you sell your phone before it even comes. For some people, it's just easier just to trade in the phone. Even though you're getting less, you're getting it now, you're getting the financing or buying it outright, uh, and then you just trade in a phone. You don't have to worry about selling it. So it's really what you're comfortable with. And if you just want to wait a little bit longer just to sell your phone. Um, so that one's really kind of uh, up to you. I believe you'll get more money for your Note 9 if you sell it uh, personally rather than trading in. Uh, is the folded screen too small? Uh, Ryan asked, and I don't think it's too small. Like it is smaller. Um, it's like the 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 width of this is the same width as the Z Flip. So if you go to a Best Buy or you go to a store and you don't see the Z Fold 2 yet, just take a look at the Z Flip. Uh, hold on to that. That is what it feels like when it's shut. <laughs> That's the best way I can I can explain it. I am able to type and I can use both of my thumbs on that folded screen and it does a really good job. Um, now let's see here. Um, I know there's still some more questions here. I'm just going to go live for just a few more minutes uh, just because I got to go back to being dad. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, so jelly about your hair. Keep up the great work, bro. <laughs> Greetings from Holland. Thank you. I just got it cut. It was, it was really bad earlier. Um, let's see here. Why can't, why, uh, why can't you start giveaways in your channel? So I've done some giveaways in the past. It's just really hard. Also to the way that Samsung or the way that YouTube and Google looks at some of the giveaways on your channel, you have to just do it the right way. You can't even use like gleam IO. If you do that, it, it kind of hurts your channel. So I've done a few giveaways here and there. And really when I do giveaways, it's going to be for those people that has joined this channel. 
uh, not just subscribed. So my thought was that anytime I do a giveaway, it would actually just be only for those people who's joined this channel and has supported this channel. Um, and so that is that is actually the plan. And when I when I do do giveaways, instead of keeping it fully public, because it's just uh, it's just really hard. And then also when people join and support the channel, it also helps me um, get the funds to actually send off the devices. Um, no SD slot as uh, a marketing to uh, let's see here. Yeah, so there's no SD card slot in this one. Um, let's see here. Does YouTube goes full screen unlike Fold 1? So when you watch YouTube on the Galaxy uh, Z Fold 2, you will get that black bar that's on the top and bottom. Uh, there is an app that was just sent to me today that you can use that you can get rid of that. Uh, you can go full, full screen on it, but it just stretches out the display. It looks cool, uh, but it's not really that perfect. Let's see here. The camera performance, I mean, the camera performance is good. Uh, the camera performance is better than the Galaxy S20 Ultra, and it's uh, the same as the Galaxy uh, Note 20. Um, does the screen, is the screen as bright as the Note 10? Um, so this is, this is where I was using it. And you can bring it like all the way up. So you'll, you'll get a good enough brightness out of this one. Um, when is the ga when is uh, the 2.5 update coming to Galaxy S10 Plus? Um, I'm trying to think of when the when UI 2.5 comes to that, but it should be very very soon, especially with the newer phones coming out. Uh, with September coming, a lot of stuff changes in September, so I'd probably say this month if it's not already out already. Um, someone asked the Javier asked the question: Is it worth getting Samsung Care Plus? It's one of those things that you can definitely take a look at. And it's very cheap. I believe Tech with Brett um, has the Samsung Care. Uh, if you guys want to take a look, go look on uh, the channel of Tech with Brett. I think he has a video for it, or he was about to post something for it. So I have to give him a, an ask about that one. But it was very cheap. I think he only paid like $100 or something, or $200 to get a screen fixed when it was broken. Um, let's see here. So I think that's pretty much most of the questions. Uh, we've been on here for 32 minutes, um, but stay tuned. I'll try to put up some more videos on this phone for you guys. Um, my phone won't come in for another five weeks, so I'm definitely just waiting for that. Um, but again, uh, the main stuff on this video to close out is that if you order the phone now, pre-order it, you will get it in two weeks. Uh, that's all regular you know, um, default colors and hinges. If you customize your hinge, it will come out in five weeks, which is going to be the beginning of October. Uh, if you wanted to, uh, you know, uh, trade in a, an original fold, it's worth $800. Uh, you're able to have different deals at all the different carriers, but really the best place to get it is probably going to be uh, samsung.com. With samsung.com, you can purchase it at um, Unlocked. You can buy it for T-Mobile slash Sprint, at and Verizon and everything. So everything is on the Samsung.com. They have financing. You can get it through the carrier type. I mean, it's just, that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Um, let's see here. I think that's pretty much it for all the, uh, all the questions. Wait, someone said, don't skip me. Someone says, no, don't skip me. What was that comment? Um, is the screen still plastic? Uh, yeah, it's going to be plastic. On the front, it, it's they call it ultra thin glass, <laughs> uh, but it's still going to be mixed in with plastic. The cool thing with this glass or this this glastic that's on the front here is that if I was to take something super sharp and jam it in, uh, it'll make a hole. It would not crack, which is a positive, while not having glass as the open display. Uh, when you look at this though, the outside, um, this is going to be glass. By the way. So I think I think that's pretty much it. Um, cutout or at the rear camera? Yeah, the cutout is there. Um, yep, it's pretty much sticking out. You know, the same thickness as the Galaxy Note 20. Um, but that's gonna be it. I think that's it for the live stream. I uh, hope you guys liked this video. Please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Uh, you can join this channel if you guys want to support. Whenever I do giveaways, uh, anybody who has joined there will definitely be a part of that as well. Um, and other than that, I guess just look out for some future videos. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thanks for the support. And, uh, I'll see you guys later.